What does it mean to be human? How do we understand ourselves, our relationship to others, and our place in nature? These are the questions the Digital Humanities Away Day attempted to answer when students and staff from the Universities of Buckingham and Northampton collaborated on the 19th of November. To set the tone of the day's events, the first talk about Digital Heaven or Hell was given by Buckingham professors John Drew and Stephen Havlin in the Radcliffe Centre. The lecture discussed how sites such as Facebook, Twitter and Snapchat have changed the way we communicate. Communication is now quicker, easier and more readily available. But this comes at a dangerous cost. People now accumulate most of their information from their phones and computers. We no longer go to libraries and no longer read books or poetry. John Drew talked about the Dickens Journal Online Project, which allows people across the globe to read new translations of historic works of literature. Next, a series of workshops took place at Buckingham's historic Old Jail. The first saw Torben Kussler discuss georeferencing in the Dickens Journal Online Project. The site, an initiative started by John Drew, uses guest translators to transform Dickens' old manuscripts into legible text, which allows readers and search engines to access it easily. The translators who contributed to this site worked for free, and the Dickens Journal Online is an entirely free resource. During the talk, Kussler presented a map showing all the places in the world that have contributed to this site. While at the old jail, the group also visited the Dickens exhibition currently on display. The exhibition, which was created and curated by the University of Buckingham, focuses on Dickens' journalism and showcases his work as a reporter and a magazine editor. The exhibition displays originals of Dickens' journalism owned by the University of Buckingham and runs until the 29th of November. Next, a talk at Buckingham's Chandos Road building by University of Buckingham lecturer Pete Orford explored the mystery of Edwin Drood, Dickens' last novel, left unfinished at his death. The novel is a mystery about Drood's uncle, a choir master in love with his pupil. There are, however, numerous opinions about how the novel should end. Mr. Orford described his new interactive website, The Drood Inquiry, in which users can vote on how the story should reach its conclusion. Mr. Orford showed a series of graphs which presented the public's views on various plot points, such as how the murder was carried out and whether Edwin is still alive. The final workshop saw Rosie Kay speaking about the use of text-to-speech synthesis in the Dickens Online Journal. Text-to-speech synthesis is a way of converting written text into spoken word. This technology has been around for many years, however Rosie Kay discussed the recent changes to this field and how the technology has evolved in recent years. The technology has improved significantly, now being almost indistinguishable from human speech. This technology is now incorporated into everyday life, with apps such as Siri and Google Now becoming mainstream. Finally, Dr Jane Winters from the University of London gave a plenary speech, looking at how far technology has come with the now widespread use of the internet and digital databases such as the Dickens Journal Online. Dr Winters also touched on where technology may take us and explored new experimental technology, such as a translator for converting handwriting into text and search engines that understand the contents of an image and not just its associated metadata. John Drew rounded off a successful day by talking about how technology may have changed the way we read and communicate, but yet the attendees had all been physically present on the day.